Hi, my name is Cheng Vu, and I'm the Global Product Manager for Magnetic Flow Meters with Emerson. We will be reviewing the basic procedure for converting an integral mounted 8732 transmitter and a mag sensor flow meter to a remote mount solution. The conversion is broken down to three parts. First, removing the integrally mounted 8732 transmitter from the mag sensor. Second, attaching the transmitter remote junction box. Third, attaching the sensor remote junction box. This video does not cover details of all the different conversion kits. Wire leads coming from the sensor are not shown because of the multiple options for lead connections. Wiring diagrams for the sensor to the transmitter are not shown as well. These can be found in the appropriate quick start guide or 8732 manuals. Tools and items needed for the conversion are a 8732 transmitter remote junction box, a sensor remote junction box, a Phillips head screwdriver, an M5 hex wrench, and an adjustable wrench. To remove the integrally mounted 8732 from the sensor, first disconnect power from the transmitter. Next, remove the electronic side cover and, if applicable, the local operator interface or display. Disconnect the coil and electrode cables from the electronics. Next, loosen and remove the four mounting screws using a M5 hex wrench to secure the transmitter to the sensor. Next, disconnect any of the grounding straps from the transmitter. Lift the transmitter away from the sensor while feeding the connection cables through the opening on the bottom of the transmitter. Please take extra precaution not to disturb the O-ring seated between the sensor and the transmitter. If the O-ring is not seated properly, it creates a possible leak point for water or for contamination to enter the junction box housing. If the existing O-ring is damaged, use a new O-ring. To attach the transmitter remote junction box, first, ensure the O-ring is properly seated in the O-ring groove of the remote junction box. Next, Take off the side cover. Next, feed the cable leads through the opening in the bottom of the transmitter housing. Orientate the transmitter in one of the four available positions to allow access to the conduit ports for the remote cable. Secure the remote junction box to the transmitter housing using the four mounting screws. Connect the coil and electrode cable leads to the electronics. If it applies, reinstall the LOI or display. Next, replace the electronic side cover, the glass cover if the unit has an LOI or display, by tightening it until there is metal to metal contact with the transmitter housing. Remember to use the supplied mounting bracket to attach the transmitter to a wall or two inch pipe mount.
To attach the sensor remote junction box, first, ensure the O-ring is properly seated in the O-ring groove of the tube adapter. If it applies, feed the sensor cable leads through the opening in the bottom of the remote junction box. Orientate the remote junction box in one of the four available positions to allow access to the conduit ports for the remote cable. Next, connect the coil and electro cable leads to the sensor remote junction box. Next, secure the remote junction box to the tube adapter using the four mounting screws. Sensors may have different terminal block connections. Some terminal blocks will require additional cable lead attachments or screw attachments to the remote junction box. For hazardous area approvals requiring intrinsically safe electrodes, a divider must be installed in the remote junction box. This now completes the integral to remote mount conversion of the 8732 transmitter and mag sensor. To install the remote mount cable, please refer to the individual and combo component cable mag sensor wiring videos.